Well, folks, what a strange and horrific night. whoop de dee dee doo dee whoop de dee Strange, my ass, big flippin' deal. Clouds freak him out. I see the falcon flying right through the air. Oh, wait a second, that ain't weird. I saw the Pope playing Scrabble with the devil. That's pretty fucked up. Oh, and I seen a marzipan penguin the size of the damn Chrysler building. Gluing a rhubarb pie to some kid I did. Don't you fade me out while I'm talking, goddammit. Stand aside. I must see Macbeth. May I see your invitation, sir? In invitation? Invitation for what? The big event. It's Banjo's birthday, you know. Banjo? Who the hell is Banjo? Why, the king's long-time friend. You mean Banquo? Never heard that name. Rumor has it the king's announcing his heir tonight as well. That, that's not in play. He doesn't have an heir. He does, you know. His son, Egad. He doesn't have a goddamn son. That's, that's it. Let me in. I'm going to stop to all of this. Gladly, sir. Your lance is blocking me. Hooked. Invitation, please. I don't have one. I'm William Shakespeare, damn it. Never heard of you. Are you on the list? I wrote this play, goddammit. I created you. Well, I'm checking my clipboard here, but I, uh, you don't appear to be on the list. Now, sir, I must insist that you leave the premises. I shall have to remove you forcefully. Whoa. You really don't believe me, do you? Well, now, I'm not what you'd call a skeptic, sir, but when someone in a tutu comes running up to me with a penis on his head, claiming to be the omniscient creator of the universe and all that my five senses perceive, well, then, yes, my reaction does tend to be a bit tinged with a hint of doubt. Listen, what, what did you eat for breakfast today, hmm? Well, if you must know, I had, uh, I... Uh, yeah, that, that's odd. The memory of my morning meal appears to be lost in an impenetrable fog. Eggs? Eggs? What, what do you... And toast, perhaps? Do you actually remember eating those things? Uh, no, sir, no, I don't. Great, great, okay. It was merely a guess. Great. All right, now, where did you grow up? How did you spend your youth? Who are your parents? I haven't the foggiest notion. Now, please, move Don't along. Don't you think that's a little strange? Actually, I've never really given it much thought. Look, the reason you don't remember having parents is that I never wrote any for you. I created you as an incidental character. Just because I can't remember breakfast doesn't mean you're God. But it does. It proves the fact that I created you. It doesn't necessarily mean any such thing at all. Could be I'm forgetful. Forgetful? Forgetful? You don't remember a single fucking moment before this thing. That's not true. It's not true. Not at all. I remember a great many things. Like what? Well, for one, I remember you. Me? Yes, you, running up here from over there, I believe. That's this scene, God. Well, then, perhaps that means I'm very, very forgetful. Now, sir, I'd love to continue this conversation, but I must return to my duties. Give me that. Sir, that clipboard is castle property. Do, do you have a pen? Oh, yes. Yes. Here you are, good sir. Thank you. I just have to write something. Sir, that pen is castle property. All right. Do you have any childhood memories now? Well, my oh my, come to think of it. Yes, yes, I do. I now recall an incident from my youth when my mother, who was an enormous marzipan penguin, glued my left cheek to a rhubarb pie. Well, now, I suppose that ruins your little theory now, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> read this. The butler suddenly remembers a moment from his youth when his mother, an enormous marzipan... Oh, my! <laughs> well... Pretty peculiar, Ed. Uncannily so. Well done, sir. Well done. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now, <laughs> sir, I believe I owe you an apology. No, that's all right. Now, look. In just a few minutes, sir, uh, you've managed to radically redefine every notion I've ever held regarding God and the nature of the universe. That's... that's great. <laughs> Assuming I had any. That's, that's okay. Now, look, as your creator, I must insist that... That you stand aside. Absolutely, sir. Right this way. You please lift your lights. Invitation, please. What? Your invitation, please. What the fucking hell are you talking about? Let me in. Not to put too fine a point on it, sir, but if my own dear mother waddled up here on those enormous marzipan flippers of hers and failed to provide me with a proper invitation, I would fulfill my sworn duty and bar her passage. Now, I realize what I'm about to say may seem a bit presumptuous for an incidental character such as myself, but it seems to me a smarter man would have simply written the words, The butler lets Shakespeare pass on the clipboard. Give me that. Give me that. Right. That's it. I've made the castle regulations more than clear to you, sir, and afforded you ample opportunity to comply with them. I doubt you will find this vigorous bludgeoning you are about to receive incidental. Guards! Bludgeoning!
Imagine him. I'm sorry, were you talking to me? All right, I'm Banjo, I keep on forgetting. Well, uh, happy birthday. It's my birthday? Oh, well, bless my grid. Gee, Mary Beth, I've been hearing some mighty queer rumors. What? What? I, I was nowhere near that goddamn bazooka. How many? How no, many no, 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 not that. What? Oh, oh, I know. Look, how the fuck was I supposed to know that monkey was gay? What? What in tarnation are you talking about? I'm talking about the rumor that you're fixing on announcing an air tonight. Oh, 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 jeez, that thing, yeah, yeah. But, that, uh, but didn't them uh, hobos say my kin would inherit the throne? Oh, uh, Jesus, between you and me and the wall, I hope they're fucking right, man. It's all the missus idea. Can you imagine that botched up little chicken humper becoming king? I'm about as confused as a shoehorn in a pickle factory. Heck, I didn't even know Oklahoma had a king. Well, I mean that literally, by the way, that whole uh, chicken humping thing I saw. He, he humped a goddamn chicken. Oh, why howdy, Miss Williams. I do declare you're as pretty as buffalo's honey and hay. Oh, well, where's your boy? My boy? I got a boy? Oh, oh, yeah. That's right. I do have a boy. Well, I, I reckon he must have missed his cue. Well, you should take your boy for a stroll down by the lagoon. Well, now, I hope y'all don't get offended like, but them grounds of yours done give me the willy nillies. Heck, I seen this one little white moth devour an entire... Take your goddamn boy for a stroll now. Now, why are you getting your tail feathers in a flurry, Miss Williams? All right. Lady Macbeth. Who, me? I thought I was banjo. No, I'm Lady Macbeth. Oh, really? Well, all righty, whatever floats your boat. Uh, anyway, Larry Beth, I done seen this... Uh, listen, we've got a special surprise for you, don't we? What the hell are you talking about? Ow! The surprise! The surprise! We can't, we can't tell him about that! Ow! The other surprise, you jackass! The plan! The goddamn plan! Uh, oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, look! Um, We have a surprise for you! He's for the boy! Oh, right, for the boy. It's, uh, what the heck is it supposed to be? It's a pony. Oh, right! Um, a pony, right. Uh, it's a brand new pony. I didn't want to tell you. But there you go, for him, a pony by the by the lagoon. A pony? Well, I do recollect him mentioning that he'd fancy one, but you know what What I'd really fancy is a musical number, see, because I've been oh, waiting to... Well, there's one of those, too. There's a musical number out there. A musical number? Well, kiss my grits, Yes, really? it's right by the goddamned pony. Now, scram. Well, I thank you kindly, Judd. Larry? No problem. Now get the fuck out of our house. My lord... There's a pair of vicious killers here to see you. They have nothing to do with you. Well, I'll be sure to make it back in time for the soapbox social. I, I hope there's music and a dancing, because cause that's what I'm here for. I don't want to hear your goddamn life story. Get go! How old am I supposed to be? Anyway? Bring in the killers. <clears throat> oh, killers? The king and queen will see you now. To recap our story so far, buy a CD of this play and listen to it from the beginning. Rumor has it that you are the most vicious cutthroat in all of Scotland. Oh, not me. That's her. Her? I've killed over a thousand men, women, and children. Last year, she was the second leading cause of death in Scotland, right behind Mildew. But, but you, uh, geez, you look so nice. Oh, well, thanks. That's really sweet of you to say. No, really, I mean, that's not, I, I really don't, I really don't understand. It's... Oh, oh. She doesn't kill them when she's like this. Uh, not when she's like that. No, she's a were-rat, see? Like uh, the moon rises, she transforms into a 300-pound rodent. Banjo and his son will be by the lagoon any minute now. Kill them both. Uh, well, the moon will be up shortly. We'll be by the lagoon soon, waiting for the moon. Why are we out here, Dad? Oh, you're talking to me. I keep forgetting you're my boy. Well, uh, we're out here on account of a surprise. Oh, really? What kind? Well, now, if an, I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise now, would it? Excuse me. Ah, a mommy. What? What? You, you're the mommy. What the hell are you? Listen, would you happen to know? Wait a minute, I know you. Oh, good, fantastic. Would you happen to know? You're not no mommy. Well, yes, I know that. You're Richard Rogers with a dick on his head. What the hell are you talking about? Why are y'all wrapped up in band-aids? I was, I was badly abused by the castle guards. Listen, I need to find that blasted heath. The blasted heath where the witches are. Macbeth is due to arrive there in a couple of scenes, and I, I finally hope to be able to stop this wretched play. There's a couple of hobos over that way. <laughs> You've been absolutely no help whatsoever. Thank you again for completely wasting my time. Are pop tarts supposed to do that? Well, who are you? Ah! Oh, my God! Oh, hi. Uh, we're bird watchers. Uh, hey, look, honey, a, a bird. Uh, let's watch it. Hey, 
Hey, I know who you are. That fellow Mary Beth sent you, didn't he? Uh, Macbeth? No, I'm Banjo. Yeah, well, uh, we were sent for you, yeah. Uh, how did you know? Oh, he told me all about it. He didn't want to, but you know, I got it out of him, so... Yes, I know all about the little, you know, the furry little surprise. Oh, damn. Uh... Well, I suppose you know you're going to try to kill us now. Now, why on earth would I go and do that? Well, that's what uh, most people would try to do. It's uh, more or less a natural reaction. <laughs> Stupid varmint ought to be grateful. What is the world coming to? Why, I'm happier than a duck in pig poop. So, now, where is it? Uh, actually, it's uh, it's her. Her? What the? <laughs> Look, I like we're suffering from a spell of misconfusionism. We was expecting a, you, you know, you know what, a surprise critter. Oh, well, uh, not right now. She's not one now, but, uh, he didn't, he didn't tell you? I turn into it when the moon is full. Yeah, you see, it caught us a little off guard, I'm afraid. Uh, the moon's not quite up. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing, actually. <laughs> That's amazing. She turns into it? Her? It wouldn't be, you know, for both of us, would it? If you, if you catch my drift. Uh, oh, yes, yeah. The, uh, the king has made this arrangement for the both of you. Uh, wh why? Didn't he make that clear? I hope you're not upset. We were hired to take care of both you and the boys. Upset? Ha! Ah! I'm about as happy as a sheep's teeth on a rubber raft. So I reckon the boy here can ride her during the night, and I can, you know, ride her during the day, eh? Or, or the other way around, if you like. I ain't picky, you know. I always say, once you've had four legs, it's hard to go back to two. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have uh, absolutely no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, I'm sure you know. Well, mum's a word, so, uh, now... Uh, how big is it? That's a pretty personal question. No, 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 no. The, the uh, the you know what, our four-legged friend. Oh, that. Well, uh, she gets to be well over seven feet tall with fangs as long as daggers. Holy hopping heifers, that huge with fangs. And uh, that don't sound like any pony I've ever seen. Heck, it's it's almost the exact opposite of a pony. Actually, uh, that would be a unicycle. Hey, uh, any of you noticed the walking by? What went that away? Seven feet tall. Must be some kind of super pony. That, that would be an extraordinarily bizarre way of describing it, I suppose. I <laughs> just, you know, I never heard of one with fangs. Oh, well, uh, they all have them. Uh, they use them to hunt. Hunt? Hunt what, carrots? No, meat. Oh! Huh? I did not know that. And I thought they, they just ate little bits of oats and hay. Meat? Well, paint my butt red and call me Flo. I did not know that. I, I didn't know. I was say, you folks don't mind if and I do a little song, does you? Judd and Larry said I could do a musical number. Oh, absolutely. We have a few moments before the transformation. Go right ahead. Ooh, hey, geese and chicks and cheeks, better hurry. When I take you... Oh, hold it. Wait a sec. That ain't it. Geese and chicks. No, no, no. Oh, 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 it's chicks and ducks. Uh, isn't? Dang. You know, I must say that in all my years in this profession, I've never had the pleasure of working with somebody as amicable about all this as you... You seem to be completely at peace with your fate. Oh, well, shucks. I know it'll be a bit of an adjustment, you know, feeding it and everything. Oh, look, there's the moon. Okay, are you ready? Absolutely. All right, kid. Are you ready for a surprise? Why, Dad, what's going to happen? Dad, he calls me Dad. Ain't that cute? So wonderful, boy. Just keep your eyes on that pretty lady. No, no, that's a deer! Hey, don't go oh, come on, don't leave it! Leave the goddamn deer alone! Get back here! Get get damn it! Holy shit, a pop-tart's supposed to do that? 